all right so we start again um, consider the directed graph shown in the figure below there are multiple shortest paths between vertices s and t okay, so these are key out here s and t which one will be reported by dijkstra's shortest path algorithm assume that in any iteration the shortest path to a vertex v is updated only when a strictly shorter path to v is discovered okay so you have this graph what you have to do is you have to implement dijkstra's algorithm on this graph and uh, you have to find the shortest path between s and t so our s is here and this t is here okay you we'll find the shortest path between these two and and what is the shortest path that dijkstra's algorithm will give that's what we have to tell and the assumption is there you update the shortest path to a vertex only when you find a strictly shorter path okay strictly means so suppose your path is 8 to some vertex okay and you're getting another path which is also 8 so you don't update you update when it is strictly uh, strictly shorter so it should be 7 or shorter than you update okay so with that idea in mind let's let's implement dijkstra's algorithm on this and see what we get so so the first is s okay so we start with s and so the one which i have finalized i'll the notes that i have finally included in that in my shortest path uh, set i'll i'll give them this red circle and and the distances will all the dis the current distances i'll show by blue and these will keep on changing as we find shorter paths so if we start from s so and s is a distance 0 from s and uh, i can go to a from s definitely and this is at a distance 4 i can go to d from s and this is at a distance of 7 okay this is 7 i can go to b and this is at a distance of 3 from a from s okay okay so this is my first step so out of these which one is the shortest so b is the shortest so far so that's b has to be finalized okay so this is the shortest part to b from s to b direct so this one i have included and after including b what i do what's the algorithm you check again that have you any better paths or newer paths so from b i can only go to d so this is 3 plus 4 is 7 but again the same point this is 7 i already had a path of 7 so the new path that I have discovered is not strictly shorter. It's only 7. So I don't update this path. Okay. The path remains as such as to D so far. I don't update it. So that's the key idea as given is applicable in this case. Okay. So then I have to find the next one. So out of all these, the next one that I have to include is. So these two have been included. So out of 4 and 7, I include this one. A, which is a distance of 4 that's it that's good and from 4 I again see if their distances have to be updated and from here I can get to see at a, uh, at a distance of 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so I write 5 here because I can get to see with a distance of 5 and then I have to include one more so this is at a distance of 5 so far and this is at 7 so if this one is better so I include this like this alright now what do I do do I get better paths so from C where do I can where can I get to so from C I can get to D from C I can get to E but if I go to D this would be 5 plus 3 8 which is worse than 7 so I don't update this path okay this still remains 7 as such but from C to E I can get at 5 plus 1 uh, which is 6 so that is good and then I have to include one final path so what do I have I have 6 and 7 out of which 6 is shorter so the one that is finalized is E a distance of 6 and then I do the same thing again from E where can I get from E I can go to G okay so that means I can read G at a dis by this path of 8 
and from E I can reach T also okay from E I can reach T which is at a distance of how much 10 so I can reach T at a distance of 10 from E okay so is there anything else uh, no so that's it so now it's time to include to finalize one more thing so all of these 7 8 and 10 what do I what I have what have I finalized so far what, what will I finalize in this step the one that I will finalize is D because this is the shortest okay and the next step is to again include these uh, again update the distances if I can so from here where, where can I go I can go to E so that will make 7 plus 1 8 so nothing better so it remains the same I can go to T okay but this is 7 plus 3 10 so do I update it no because it's not strictly shorter so the 10 remains as such because I already have this thing and I, I go to this one so this one will be updated this, this one will become 7 plus 5 12 okay so that's it and uh, what else so now it's time to include something out there so what do we include out of these so we include obviously this one so we include G which is at a distance of 8 and then it's time to update paths if we can so from 8 to 3 is 11 so we don't update this this one remains the same as such alright and then it's again the time to include something so from 10 and 12 I include this one so finally I have included this one and the path that I used I should have written it side by side I, I had this path from E to T if you remember okay I didn't update this D to T because before going from D to T I already had this one which was also 10 so if you want to see the path the path was like this I went from S to A and then I went from A to C I should have done it before but it's okay I went from C to E and then I went from E to T to discover this one and this was never updated after that okay and that's the final thing I got so it's S to A to C to E to T and which means that this is option D okay so you, you might be thinking that why not from D so it's the same point the strictly shorter that's the key out here because from D I don't get a strictly shorter path so it has from A where I reached before uh, reaching D. Okay.